Greetings, everybody. Learning is a hobby here. Uh, I wanted to make uh, a new series of videos that I mentioned in that I mentioned uh, in the vlogs uh, or the the previous vlog that I made uh, for October, which is uh, having to do with this book here. And you may notice that I have some new equipment, uh, which is another reason why I wanted to make this video because I wanted to test out my new microphone. I also have a new camera and some new lighting here uh, that I'm experimenting with so uh, if it doesn't work out exactly you know fantastic for this verse first video just be aware that I'm, I'm uh you know I I just got this stuff so I'm learning how to use it but anyway I wanted to make um the first video on make electronics this book by Charles Platt uh, I have the the third edition um, there are previous editions that you can still get, but I want to do specifically the third edition uh, for a reason I'll mention in a minute. Um, so first off, uh, Charles Platt is the author of several uh, books on electro on beginners electronics. This book is a great book to uh, pick up if you know absolutely nothing about electronics like myself. Uh, and that's who the, the audience is for this book. It's geared towards uh, sort of teaching you the the basics uh, in a hands-on kind of way. Uh, I don't know if you can see this uh, on top, but the, the motto of the book here is burn things out, mess things up. That's how you learn. So um, that's right up the alley of this channel. Uh, you know, we like to learn by doing. So um, we're going to go through this book. That's uh, a new series that I'm going to have on the channel. And don't worry if, you, if you're following along with some of the other series that I have, those aren't going to stop. Um, but I, I, I am adding this into the mix because, uh, like I said, if you saw my pre, my, I, actually, I think my last two vlogs, uh, I talked about wanting to have, uh, some physics and some, uh, electronics content on the channel. So this is the first video for that. So first off, let me just say, um, like I said, Charles Platt has a few different books. This is the first volume of make electronics by him. Uh, this is, this is a series put out by make magazine, um, which is a magazine, uh, devoted to all things, you know, maker, right? Uh, if you know what the maker movement is. Uh, he also has a sequel to this book called uh, Make More Electronics, which uh, if the series goes well with, with this one, I hope to get around to at some point. Uh, there's also another book that I would like to get around to, which is this one. Uh, this, is, this one is not written by uh, Charles Platt, but it does have a forward and illustrations by Charles Platt. Uh, for this um, this volume here was written by Frederick Jansen, uh, and it's about uh, ra all about radio, so making radios and things like that, which is uh, something that I, I would like to I'd like to get around to this volume at some point in the future as well, specifically because of what I want want to mention next. So let me just bring up the star of the show here, besides the the book, um, and I'll have to change the uh, camera angle for this. So let me do that real quick <clears throat> okay here we go so uh this is my new camera which you could see is a lot better than my older <laughs> my old camera um so hopefully that you know my videos will increase in quality as time goes on uh but anyway this is the star of the show this is um version one of the kit for uh, the Make Electronics book that is put out by uh, ProTech Trader. So I want to advertise them here because they sent me this uh, this version of the kit um, uh, promotionally. So it's I, they sent it to me for free and they wanted me to review it on the channel. So that's what I'm going to do here. Um, so like I said, if you want to follow along with, um, with me in, on this journey... <laughs> You could pick up a copy of Charles Platt's book. It's not that expensive. I'll put the, the Amazon link down to it below uh, for my Amazon affiliate link. Uh, and I'll also put the links to Protect Traders uh, website as well as their Amazon affiliate link as well. Uh, this way you can, uh, you know, choose which way you want to pick up the kit if, if that's what you want to do. Um, they do have a uh, multiple kits, by the way, and they, they do provide a kit for this um, volume of um, that I just showed you a few minutes ago for radio. Uh, 
hands-on adventures in the hidden universe of radio waves so that sounds really fun anyway they have a kit for this one as well so hopefully if this goes well maybe they'll uh let me do the their kit for uh this book on the channel as well um okay so let me show you what is in this version of the kit real quick and then we'll get to some of the the i, I want to do the first and second experiment in the book on on this video uh today so um yeah, let's get around to that. So th like I said, this is kit number one. They, there's there's multiple kits for uh, Charles Charles Platt's book. Um, there's a bigger kit that has the gear for all of the experiments in the book. And there's this one, which has the the all the, everything that you need for chapter one and chapter two in the book. So that's what we have here. This is kit number one. Um, so first off, let's see if I can... Uh, how am I going to do this? Maybe if I, I do it like this. So the first thing is uh, you get a, a sheet of paper that lists everything that's in the kit. Uh, I don't know if this will show up on the camera, but it, it, it tells you where everything is and all the stuff that's in there. So that's a useful guide. Uh, but really, a lot of the stuff here is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, once you've re read the... Uh, once you've read the first uh, part of... Uh, Charles Platt's book because he explains uh, actually maybe I can show you on the camera here so here he tells you you know how to use the book um, then he goes over the basics so he tells you uh, everything that you need to know the first section here is a long section on multimeters which I'll talk about in a minute um, because you need a multimeter to do the projects in this book. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff in here on multimeters, some stuff on safety. Then he you know, describes uh, the, the equipment that you need uh, to go through the, the problems and not the problems, the projects in this book. And then you have the experiments uh, listed one after the other. Uh, so we're gonna do experiment one and experiment, uh, experiment two. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should break this up into two videos. I think I'm gonna do it that way. So here I'll just show you the equipment and everything, and then I'll make a separate video where I go over uh, experiment one and experiment two. This way the videos aren't too long. So maybe that's what I'll, uh, I, I'm making an executive decision here. This is, that's what I'm going to do. So um, let's go through the, the stuff that's in here. All right. So first off, it does come with a multimeter. It's, uh, you know, a very um, cheap multimeter. But it this uh, Charles Platt says in the book that this multimeter will do everything that you need uh, for out of a multimeter for the the book. So every experiment that you need that you want to do in the book, this is good enough to do that. And it's I think I'll, I'll talk more about this when we get into the experience. But I think this multimeter is great for a beginner um, because it's it's very easy to use. And to understand, but like I said, I'll go more into that when we get into the the experiments. So it comes with with this multimeter. Uh, it was wrapped in plastic. I actually already opened up the kit just because I, wa I wanted to make sure that everything was there and that everything worked. So that's number one. Uh, it comes with uh, two different leads for your multimeter t test leads for the multimeter. You get a cheap um, a cheap uh, soldering iron. Uh, you get a uh, one of these clips, which uh, I think you use in one of the experiments. You have uh, some breadboards. You have an AC power adapter. Um, the multimeter ha uh, has a an instruction book too. Th this way you can figure out um, everything that you need uh, for the multimeter. And then it comes with, uh, let's see, we have some wire here. This is uh, 25 feet uh 22 awg yellow whatever that means uh this is 25 feet of 22 gauge solid wire like i said i i'm a complete noob when it comes to electronics so uh you know if you're if you're starting out without knowing anything you're i'm in the same exact boat as you so uh let's see we have some more wire here this is 25 uh 25 feet of 22 gauge solid wire so some more of that uh we have a 12 volt battery that is supposed to be used in well actually you're going to use this in a bunch of different experiments but will you be using this in experiment one and experiment two uh, in the next video uh then we have uh heat sink tubing 
Uh, so that means I'm probably going to need a lighter. Uh, but anyway, that comes with that. You get um, a battery adapter with leads attached, uh, rosin core electronic solder. So I'll let you get some of that. Uh, I think the soldering stuff, by the way, is more towards the end of the book. So you should be a bit more experienced by the time you get to soldering. Uh, the first bunch of experiments don't you don't have to solder anything at all. You can use the breadboard for it. Uh, then we have 25 feet, 22 gauge solid wire. So some more of that. And it looks like that's everything that's on the first side, but there is a second side to this kit. Let me put everything back here and I'll roll this over. All right, so rolling it over. All right, we have, um, let's see, a small eight ohm speaker. We get a 10 kilo ohm trimmer potentiometer. We have three millimeter. Actually, how many of these do we get? We get one, two, we get five three millimeter generic red LEDs, and we get five five millimeter red LEDs, which we're going to use in uh, experiment number two. All right, we get a bunch of resistors. Um, let me see if I can take them all out of this compartment here. So we get, <laughs> I don't want to drop this. Uh, let's see, we get 470 kilo ohm resistors. Uh, we get two packages of those, 330 kilo ohm resistors. We get one package of that, uh, 15 ohm, one quarter watt resistor. I think that's what that means. Um, 100 kilo ohm resistor. I'm not sure what the what the one quarter W means. Uh, I'm sure he'll tell us in the book when we get around to using them. Four, 47 kilo ohm resistor, 33 kilo ohm resistor, one uh, 15 ohm resistor, 10 kilo ohm resistors, uh, 4.7 kilo ohm resistor. 3.3 kilo ohm and so on and so on. There's a bunch more of these. So you, you get, you actually get quite a, a number of different resistors. So I'm sure we'll, we'll end up using all of those uh, in the, uh, in the problems. I don't know if we'll have any left over at the end, but um, they give you a lot of those. And we have some capacitors here. Whoops. We have, let's see, 0 0.01 micro uh, farad capacitor. Uh, 47 mic microfarad electrolytic capacitor, uh, one microfarad ceramic capacitors. There's a bunch of them in each of these packages. 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor and 1,000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. So we get a bunch of these capacitors as well. All right, let's see what's next. Uh, we have a package of transistors, 2N394. Uh, 3904. I don't know what that means, but we get a package of transistors. Um, <clears throat> we get a 9-volt DC DPDT relay, whatever that means. We get a 1A glass cartridge fuse. Maybe that's for the, the uh, multimeter. And we get a 3A glass cartridge fuse. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll use those in the experiments, or maybe they're just extras for the multimeter. Uh, we get some alligator clips, copper alligator clips. There's three of them. We get uh, a bunch of alligator clip test leads. Let's say we have one, two, three. It looks like five. We get five five uh, different alligator clip leads. All right. We get uh, SPDT switch slide, so slide switches. Uh, and then we get... Um, three pin PCB mini slide switches. We get a, a package of three of those and we get mini round tactile push button SPST switches. We get one, two, three, four. It looks like we get five of those and that's everything that comes in the kit. So like I said, this is enough to do. Uh, let me just close this up so I don't lose anything. 
All right. So that's enough to do chapter one and chapter two in Platt's book. And like I said, you know, if uh, this series goes well, I'll try to I'll, I want to do all the experiments in this book. Um, and maybe, you know, if, if everything works out well here, uh, then, you know, maybe I'll pick up the uh, the the bigger kit for that lets you do all of the experiments in here. And like I said, in the future, uh, I think it would be nice to be able to do that that book on uh, making uh, radios as well, homemade radios. So um, that's the book. Like I said, I, I think I'll hold off on doing the experiments in this video, but I do want to show you the Protect Trader website and so on. Um, so let me share my screen. All right. Um, now, I... I of course, this happens when I decide to make this video, but uh, this is the the Protect Trader website. It looks like they're they actually just decided to do maintenance on it today when I when I decided to make this video. And actually, let me change the camera angle so you can see my my face. Um, that's not what I want. Okay, here we go. Um, so, but I'll put the link to their website in the description bar, and hopefully, it won't take them too long to do whatever maintenance that they're doing. But they also have an Amazon store, which I'll also post the link to down below, uh, and I'll post a link to uh, the kit as well uh, on at my Amazon affiliate link. So, if you want to pick that up, you can pick it up through Amazon or through the website itself. Like I said, hopefully the website will be up uh, and running again relatively soon. Uh, but just so you can see, uh, this is the the Make Radio Electronics uh, kit that they sell. And you can see they have uh, the Make Electronics um, third edition kit one and two. So I have kit one, but kit two it lets you do the rest of the, the experiments. Like I said, kit one is for chapter one and chapter two. Uh, and then, you know, they have all kinds of electronic stuff that you can buy here and they have kits for, for other books and so on as well. So, uh, you might want to actually peruse through the, the, you know, the, either the, uh, the Amazon page or for protect trader, or once the site is back up, you know, take a look at their website. So I'm going to, like I said, I'll put the links to these down below. Um, I will also, when I get around to the experiment, uh, I want to experiment with these, um, like online uh, circuit simulators. So I think I might actually try to get some practice with this along with the using the kit. Um, DCAC lab is, uh, it lets you do stuff like on a bread, a, a, a simulated breadboard. So an online breadboard. Um, and it's, it's all, you know, stuff that with, with that looks like the equipment that we're going to use here. So I might start out by using this, uh, and I'll po post the link to this down below. I posted it, uh, the link to this in one of my previous videos as well, but um, I'll post it here as well because I, I want to get practice using it and you might want to learn how to use it too. So uh, this is all free to use the, the DCAC lab. So you can sign up for it, you know, create an account and then you don't have to pay anything. It's, it's free. So um, yeah, let's see. Is there anything else I want to say before I close out this video? Uh, Oh, I, I will say, I don't know if uh, you may, may be like me and let me just stop. Um, let's stop my screen share for a second. You may be like me uh, and, you know, make sure you're wearing your, your reading glasses, but you also may want, might want to have a, a, a flashlight and um, a magnifying glass too, because uh, specifically the, the writing on some of the components and uh, on the writing on the multimeter is very kind of small, for, for, at least for my eyes it is. So if you're like me and you're blind as a bat, <laughs> you might want to, uh, you know, like I said, have a, a magnifying glass or something just to help you read the uh, the writing, at least on the multimeter. But like the, the um, resistors and so on are tiny too, and you need to see the markings on them clearly because the markings tell you what type of resistor it is, uh, as well as the other components. So uh, just to, you know, uh, be aware, I guess, <laughs> um, thing for, for uh, the end of the video. I have this, uh, oh, actually I'm on this camera here. Um, I ha this is uh, something I got off of Amazon. It comes with like a light and uh, a magnifying glass. Uh, yeah, I know I'm an old man. So, 
<laughs> anyway, I, I think I'll end this video here. And uh, I'm going to try and post actually the experiment video for experiment one and two today as well. Uh, so I'll try to record that right after I post this one. So I'll see you guys in that one. Uh, keep learning, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm extremely <laughs> excited to start on this. Um, uh, you know, ever since I got the book on, uh, you know, uh, The Art of Electronics, it's just been you know, this stuff has been knocking around in my my tiny little skull. So <laughs> I'll see you guys in, in the experiment video. And uh, like I said, don't worry, I, I am con uh, continuing with uh, Tao and with Spivak as well. So don't if you're following along with those videos, don't worry, I'm not stopping that. Um, but this is something new I'm adding to the channel. And also, actually, let me know what you think down below about the video quality and the lighting and everything. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a learning curve for me because I just got this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to have to figure out how to use it in the best way that, uh, you know, that I can. So anyway, I won't waste your, any more of your time. I'll see you guys in the experiment video. Um, so bye for now.